Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will, inside! Will. Go, go, go. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna move slightly, sorry Paul. Yeah, yeah, nice to see. So he's getting ready to go to Rome now. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
First of our special guests here today. You ready for them? Good. I want a really loud cheer for everybody. Chancellor, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf uh, of His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Board of Directors, and the entire city organization, it is truly my honor and pleasure to welcome you here today. There was a need to be committed for the long haul. With those words echoing, I have to tell you that today is not the end of the journey, rather an important staging point. The very first task Sheikh Mansour and I discussed was the need to create for the club an engine for the development and enhancement of talent. Something that would truly differentiate the club as a leader in the world of football. So on day one, in September of 2008, the first conversation was about the creation of this place and what it should facilitate. The cornerstone for the future was a vision for youth development and sustainability. A vision to educate talented young footballers on and off the pitch, and to do so in a place supported by the best coaches and coaching programs. What followed was six years of due diligence, research, consultations, land acquisition, design, remediation, and finally, construction. With remarkable stories of commitment and passion all along the way. However, the ultimate goal was not to build the City Football Academy. It was to make that vision for youth de development a reality. Sheikh Mansour promised not only a world-class football club, he also made that commitment, ongoing commitment, to the community of East Manchester and that ongoing commitment to uh, the regeneration of East Manchester. And um, City Council is very happy to thank Sheikh Mansour for keeping those promises because that's what we see here today. Investment into the Etihad campus has been unprecedented. And now we celebrate the City Football Academy, which has turned that 80 acre former chemical works site into a valuable community asset. So it's a fantastic investment in Manchester and I think the way you've involved and engaged with the local community, not just in building uh, the uh, facilities, but also in providing education, leisure facilities, uh, and uh, football training facilities is great. The final thing I want to say is, and, and use this as an opportunity to make an announcement, which is we've got to, as a country, I think, do more to invest in our grassroots football. Uh, the facilities available here are sadly not matched in every town and city across the country and in every uh, community. And so we're making a commitment today to a £50 million investment across our country in uh, many more all-weather pitches, in more football uh, coaching, uh, so that all our communities and all of our youngsters have the opportunity to shine uh, on the football pitch. I think this is an important step forward. It's something that the Football Association have recommended to us and we've taken forward uh, as a government, because 
whilst it's clear we've got the very, very best football league in the country, uh, in the world, I want to make sure that we've also got the very, very best national team in the world. And by investing in the grassroots, as you are doing here in Manchester, we're going to make sure that happens. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure and an honour to open the new Manchester City Academy.